So Ross, obviously with a cup tie this weekend, but against the same opposition, and but obviously after a win, do you change things? Do you stick the same? What, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, well, the, we've spoke about the FA Trophy being important mm. to, to to myself and to the players and to the club. So um, we want to be as uh, strong as we can, and we want to um, be as positive as we can, and, and we obviously we want to try and get through the next round. And obviously, there's a there's a big thing made about us being free from Wembley, and, and obviously we want to make that two from Wembley. So. It's important that um, we're, as, like I said, we're as strong as we can be and we put the best team out we can be and, and we want to have a real goal. Obviously, you know, it, it, it is still, you know, not exactly that close. It is still quite far away, that, you know, that famous final we could have. But is it something that has been on the players' minds? Has there been chatter about it at all? Just in terms of, you know, this year where the bigger teams are out and there is that opportunity for a club like us? Well, I think, like, I think most shows as well, the... the some of the bigger teams don't quite take it as seriously as maybe maybe the, the teams outside the top four, top five, or, or whatnot. So, um, from 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 our perspective, it's just the same as most years. I think I think I've, I've not I've not I've been quite candid, and quite open. I think I think we've had a the run the run has been kind to us, but of course we we maybe have a laugh and a joke about it. Obviously, we've got parts and uh, within the squad who who won it last year. So uh, there is conversations around it. I mean, you can't get too carried away. We can't be sat here thinking about our oh, Wembley and. And not and not be disrespectful to to Dorkin on Saturday. There also can't be that mindset that yeah we we, we beat Dorkin twice this season, but they're a good team and they have caused us problems both games. So it's not going to be easy. And complacency is probably the biggest thing that could could really kill us. So we need to make sure we're on it, and we need to make sure we take it very seriously. And 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 I guess the 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 old boring cliche answer is we want to focus on this one, but. Of course, the, the idea in the back of your head that we could be the first group of players at this club to get to Wembley, that is awesome, isn't it? But got to take a game at a time. We saw Corey, obviously, go off the pitch injured quite early on last week. Has, has he been training at all? Is he, is he still a worry? Uh, he's not a worry. He's not a long-term injury. Um, he's someone um, who has had um, issues with his knee on going um, in the last maybe few weeks or months or so. So um, it's not a massive concern. Um, he'll be... Pushing to get fit for Saturday, um, we took a few knocks on 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 Saturday as well. So um, we we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll be as full strength as we can be. Uh, we've got a good group here, um, and uh, and yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the biggest issues we do have is is, is cup tied players. Um, obviously, we've got two or three boys, three boys who who can't play because they're cup tied. So it does leave us a little bit short, but our starting level is still good. So yeah. Obviously, there will be have to be one change in the squad, won't there, after Ine Etienne's departure. I know Terry and, and Mark Butler have gone over that already in their interview, but you know, um, how have you got any thoughts of, of who will be in line to replace him? Yeah, we're looking at players. Uh, there's one or two players we're looking at um, to try and bring in. Uh, it's, it's not a, it's not an, an instant thing, and obviously the anything thing came about rather, rather quickly. So it's not um, something that that is. We're aware of centre forwards. That there's one or two we want to bring in. Um, we might have to look at maybe a loan option as well. So it's not that we don't know. We're, we're making inquiries. We're, we've we've potentially put in some offers. So we're hoping um, we'll be able to get maybe a bot one or two bodies through the door soon. Um, whether we can do that in time for Saturday, let it be. We'll let it be seen. But like I said, our, my focus as always, and as everyone else it should be. And we've got a really good group of 17, 18 boys here who love this club, want to play for this club and want to give their all and die for this football club. So my focus is always is them because they want to be here and, and we'll give it a real, real good go on Saturday. Um, of course, uh, not having your top scorer, it's always going to be difficult. Let's not profit, but we've got some fantastic players and, and we've got Ryan, we've got Justin, we've got Tommy, we've got Morgan, we've got Josh. So that's quick and it's athletic and it's it's rapid and, and you think about how we approach the game against Dork and, um it allows us to certainly certainly approach the game like that so no stress my end all good um, and I'm looking forward to Saturday cheers Ross cheers Sam click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe are you in with a shot look below for more information